All right, Zed Pikachu here, and I'm back with a special Red Dead Online tips and tricks video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys another build. This one is a straight up all out offensive build. It's like a DPS build, I guess you can say. So let's get on into it. If you look right here, press and hold L1, then you put, tap triangle, get your ability loadout pulled up here. And I went with focus fire for the first card. This one, you deal a lot more damage. At level 3, it says a lot more damage. And it works for the entire posse too, but this effect does not stack. So if other people have the same card and you're both using Deadeye at the same time, it's not going to double up. So just mind, be mindful of that. But for just for you on your own going out, it's a great card if you want to add more damage to your bullet. And next, for the first passive... I went with Landon's Patience. So it says waiting for up to 15 seconds between shots significantly increases your damage. The thing about this card is not only does waiting increase the damage, but it's still like the first bullet that comes out has increased damage. So it does increase the damage of your bullet without waiting 15 seconds. So the first shot is increased by a bit. Now, peak condition also increases your damage should you have high stamina. So if you're not running around and diving from side to side, this is a great card to use. I highly recommend it. Me, I'm more of a laid back. I sit back. I use the sniper rifle. So I'll use Carcano or Rolling Block. So this is more for like a, dif like a distance type of offensive build. It's not really made mostly for close range. You can use it for close range, maybe like equipped to powerful pistols and you can you know turn it on and maybe like two shots you can knock someone down with like a strong enough pistol this would be good but me personally i feel like distance is good and when you're keeping that distance you're not going to be running too much so your stamina will be high so this is a safe one to add on to and it will also increase the damage of the bullet and for the final card i use winning streak so each consecutive shot on the same target does much more damage than the last damage bonus ends if the target is not shot for 10 seconds now this one pretty much straightforward the more you fire each bullet gets more and more damage but you would think that it's counteractive to this card so why put them both together you know they seem to be opposites almost right so won't they cancel each other out in fact they do and they don't in a way so like I said, the first shot that you take from your gun or the first shot that comes out of your gun, that one will be increased with Landon's Patience, as well as Winning Streak. That first bullet will also be increased, and Peak Condition will increase the damage, as well as Focus Fire is increasing the damage. So all four of these cards increase the damage. The first shot that comes out is increased. Whether or not you wait or whether or not you fire the second bullet right away, it doesn't matter. That first shot is increased by all of these cards, which is what we want. We want a very, very powerful bullet that comes out of a very, very powerful gun, which is why we're using a Carcano or a Rolling Block for this type of build. So I'm showing you guys this one because I've been getting a lot of comments lately about a full out offensive build, something that is very strong, powerful. I recommend this. And you can also modify this as well. Say if you're using only a rifle, you can swap out this for a sharpshooter. I'm sure that'll be very helpful. Or if you're using just dual wielding, you can swap out this for the gunslinger's choice. You know, this, this build is versatile in a way, but I like this setup because I feel like this is more of like a general type of setup. You can use different types of guns. You can even use a shotgun with this and you have a very like powerful shotgun blast. But the thing about this build is you're very exposed. You can die from a headshot. If someone, you know, auto locks on you and quickly pushes up and shoots you in the head, that's it. I mean, you're done for. That's the only downside about this, but the upside is you are very, very strong with this one. Like, your bullets are stronger. I mean, it'll really help out in the long run if you're keeping distance too. So if you're using a sniper rifle, it's a great one. So I think that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I mean, this is my offensive build. 
it's what I pretty much came up with reading the cards and going through them. I found like this is like a pretty good one. Like I said, there's modifications you can do for it. But yeah, pretty much I like it for like a Carcano or a rolling block. It's not bad for this setup. All right, you guys. I just have to say thank you to everyone out there for watching. If you're still watching this video, feel free to smash that like button. Comment down below if you'd like to see another type of Red Dead Online tips and tricks. Let me know what you want to see. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Say I choose you, Dead Pikachu. And join the Dead Pikachu crew today. Yeah. Okay, you guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and bye. Yeah.